Hey guys, what's up? Kim 3D Alpha. I got this question from a subscriber saying, um, I think it's from Black Kids Hova or something like that. Is it, what are my thoughts on training with strength and hypertrophy? I hate that word. Uh, well, like I said, I'm not a, I'm not a fitness coach. I'm not a guru. I'm just giving you guys my opinion based on my researches and based on the questions that I ask people on a daily basis. I'm always asking people that are in shape what they're doing, what they're eating. And then I just come, I just compare it at the end of the day with everyone else that I've been studying to kind of see the, um, the common threads. So I ask a lot of football players. I ask a lot of um, just bodybuilders. I ask a lot of people to just get trying to get in shape. A lot of personal trainers. You know, I, just, I look for a lot of outside bodybuilding sources and then I come back to the bodybuilding world and then I overlap it. And one thing I realized that works best and I'm gonna start doing that starting next week is um, I train six days a week. I'm sorry. I'm, that's overtraining in a lot of people's books. Well, sorry, you know, you could train your two, three days a week, four days a week. I train six days a week. That doesn't mean I'm training intensely six days a week. I mean, a lot of people that, conf that that's called this overtraining, they think that I'm doing the exact same thing for six days. No, I mean, some days I'm just doing, you know, calves, calves, forearms, you know, that's overtraining. No, six days a week, I make sure I'm in my butt is in the gym six days a week for many reasons. First of all, it's my sanctuary. I got I to gotta get my sanity back. I mean, I'm so stressed out that the only time I, I release everything is in the gym. And um, on certain people, but uh, yeah. So I train six days a week. So what I do is I split my my workouts into two power days because I wrote, you know a lot of football players. You know you gotta think about it. They only train like when it comes to weights. A lot of them, not all of them. A lot of them only train twice a week, and they're able to put on a lot of size, a lot of mass. Why? Because those two times that they train, they do a lot of explosive movements and a lot of power movements. Not just for strength. Yeah, that's one thing. Strength is one thing. Power is another thing. A lot of people confuse the two. Strength is just the ability to push something, all right? Power is how fast you can push that thing, you know what I'm saying? So uh, somebody who could bench press 300 pounds is not stronger than somebody who could bench press 250 pounds because you could bench press 300 pounds for one rep and go really slow. And somebody can bench press 290 pounds, which is less than 300, but go really fast. He has more power. So um, a lot of football players, a lot of my friends who play football, they told me, hey, they used to train twice a week. The coach had them training twice a week, but it was balls out. You know, intense training, full body workouts, you know, they were doing squats, deadlifts, you know, presses all on the same day. And in fact, when you train that intense, you only need really, you know, two sessions, three sessions of mass a week to put on size. And of course, after that, they would eat a lot and stuff like that. So um, what I do is I incorporate that into my, you know, my routine because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm trying to bug. But at the same time, I'm not trying to put on too much fat. As you can tell, the, you know, the nip was very, is very deadly. So um, what I do is. Two days out of the week, I do pop, you know, power training. I train really explosively. That's why if you notice one of my shoulder workouts, a lot of you guys are bitching about the, the form and the way. You guys have no idea what I'm doing, all right? Just relax. I'm, that's not my main shoulder workout. That's when I'm training for power and explosiveness. That's why I'm not liking out because I don't want my my um, triceps to come in. And I'm I'm just, you know, going like this, trying to, you know, recruit fast twitch muscle fibers. Hypertrophy is not a priority in, in that workout. But um, the, my, now my other workout days, the other four or three days, depending from training five or six times that week, are focusing on, you know, volume and, you know, getting the blood in the muscle and full range of motion and all that cute shit. But um, so that's how I split my training. Two days out of the week is just power, full body workouts, squats, deadlifts, I mean, heavy presses twice a week, full body. And then the other four or five workout days, um, it's just the other three or four workout days is hypertrophy. I'm focusing on getting a good contraction, good stretch at the bottom, coming up, and I, I split it up, you know, chest, shoulders, triceps, back, whatever. I'm not worried about overtraining, guys. If you if you sleeping, if you're getting your eight hours of sleep, you know, if you're eating right, don't don't overstress overtraining. Sometimes you know, you know, as a matter of fact, sometimes you gotta overtrain to get that mind muscle connection. It's it's gonna happen at some point. Right? Everybody's body's different. Overtraining for me might not be with training for you, right? Some people could train, you know, three days a week and, and, and that could be with training for them. So you just gotta find out how your body reacts. So yeah, that's my take on it, you know. Um, there's different programs out there. There's the Y3T, where they split up into weeks, one week of heavy, um, heavyweight, low reps. I think it's another week of high reps, whatever, something like that, just look that up. But for now, all I'm doing is my two, three or two, four split, where two days power, full body, and three days or four days hypertrophy. And um, so far I'm getting strength gain, so I'll see how my physique looks two, three months from now.
All right, I hope that answers your question. Check out the website, www.lowbudgetlymuscle.com. Join the competition, the 12-week um, transformation challenge. It's going to push you to get up off your ass and, you know, into the gym. Especially if you put your pictures out there, you're going to have to show up in 12 weeks. All right, and um, add me on Facebook, Jonathan Megan. Uh, follow me on Twitter. I'm going to start tweeting a lot. And what else? Oh, wisdom, 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 wisdom. Sometimes I forget. I think I would use this one. All right, change, listen carefully. I wrote this one May 28th. Change only occurs when the pain of loss surpasses the comfort of mediocrity. Think about that for a second. Change only occurs when the pain of loss surpasses the comfort of mediocrity. People, I put down on Facebook yesterday. People, I just realized people will not change until something painful happens to them. I mean, you will inspire them with your words or your actions. They'll get motivated to do something for three days, four days. But after that, they go right back down. In order for you to have that fighter warrior mentality, something precious has to be taken from you. I notice unless you lose something, unless a human being loses something valuable, they will not transform into lions. They remain sheep the rest of their lives. That's why I put on Facebook, you do not need motivation to change. You just need a painful experience. Team 3D Alpha. King me.